Hey guys, Axel Fireflurry here, and in my last video I mentioned that I was learning how to do digital art. So I figured in this video I would elaborate more on that and kind of show you what I've been working on. And how it is really hard to find a good learning to do art channel on YouTube. <laughs> so back in March when I started working from home because of ya yeah, know, um, I figured that I, I needed to do something that wasn't just video games to, to occupy my free time since, you know, can't go anywhere, can't see anybody, and I figured, well, can't really go out and do photography, and can't, and I, and I don't want to spend my entire day playing video games, so I may as well, you know, learn to do some art. So I ordered me an iPad and got it, and I, I'm, I'm loving my iPad, it's the iPad 7th generation, and I've, this is my first, like, real Apple product I've ever owned, and so, you know, I, I bought the 7th generation, I saw that you can get two different Apple pencils, now, my brain is like, oh, yeah, I want the 2nd generation of the Apple pencil, because, you know, it's the newer one, it'll be better, it can, you know, do things that the 1st generation can't got the Apple Pencil, Apple Pencil was not compatible, well, second generation was not compatible with my iPad, and I was furious. <laughs> so I had to go out, get a new one, well, a, a first generation, and so, yeah, so got got the new pencil, things are actually working, I can actually draw, and before I move on, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm tracing, I'm, I'm, and there will be people who tell me, oh, you're a horrible criminal. You should feel horrible. You're not an artist. You're just a thief. And my argument is this. One, like I said, I never really took an art class where I learned how to draw, learned like anatomy or anything like that. And so I'm, I'm essentially being self-taught and I'm not, you know, just copying the entire image. I'm taking portions of these various images and and altering them to what I would want to see. Um, that does happen a lot in digital art. A lot of people will have, you know, three or four different monitors up so they have, you know, different inspirations to pull from. And this is also just really good on, at least for me, to steady my hand. I have really shaky hands, really shaky wrists. So, kind of just helping me work on those straight lines, those straight curves. Okay, yeah, straight curves. Anyway, those those curves, those angles, just helping me work with that. And it, it's, it's not like I'm going to use this crutch forever. It's just while I get, you know, get to a more comfortable place. I'm not stealing anything, at least not in my opinion. And now, back to the... Back, back to the part of just how hard it is to find, at least for me, a hard YouTube channel to learn how to do art or digital art from. So when I bought my iPad, I bought a couple, couple of programs, um, the weird um, mannequin statue thing that you saw earlier on this video. It was actually from an app called Mannequin. You can bend them in any way that you want. It's probably for more experienced artists, but I wanted to use it to try to learn how, like, as, as sort of a a base to, to get posing down. And I, I'm using that. I'm using Procreate. I love Procreate. I'm downloading new brushes constantly. I'm learning how hard I need to push on on my screen how light i need to pull up so i don't get really fat lines really thin lines and i'm absolutely loving it but i i wanted to you know learn how to do some some easy well not easier but just easy things you know just sort of get that ball rolling but unfortunately a lot of the videos that i find are for beginner intermediate to intermediate artists and digital artists and so it was really really hard and it was really unfortunate because I did find a couple of these YouTube channels where I could you know sort of learn how how to how to do things how to get the ball rolling color theory blending and all that fun stuff but the problem is 
is they had only one or two videos and they weren't really in depth and the rest of the channel was drama and that that was really upsetting to me because it's like my name is x artist or x digital art but these artists aren't really talking about art they're talking about drama and sometimes drama in the art community and something that really annoyed me with that was one don't call yourself an art channel if you're not going to you know do art but a couple of the channels that i found um they wouldn't even use their own art and so i felt like that was really misleading and kind of annoying but I, I I stopped watching those particular channels. Um, I am considering signing up for Skillshare, giving that a shot, um, just to see how how well I like it. It's probably what I should have done from the beginning, but it it is what it is, and I don't know why everything's black right now. So I'm probably going to edit that part out. And so anyway, sorry about that. Don't know what was going on. And so I, I stopped watching those. I'm, I'm slowly finding other resources to learn how to, how to do art, and I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I haven't been able to do it as much as I would like, especially recently with how crazy my work schedule has been. And so it's just finding the time to unwind to the point where I feel like I can do art or practice art. And so I'm, I'm a little behind schedule. My hope was back in March was by December be good enough that I can really be proud of like a Facebook page or a digital art Instagram. And then by September of 2021, um, maybe be good enough to do commissions. And then by January 2021, be good enough to maybe go to my local con and sell some art that is what i was hoping for that isn't exactly what it's gonna happen unfortunately it makes me it bumps me out a little bit but it's perfectly fine um i am hindered because like i like i keep saying i never really learned digital art um that was just something well, I never learned art. I never took art classes like that. I was in band, I was in choir, and I was in theater. I didn't really take advantage of any art classes when I was in what I would consider mandatory schooling. And so now that I'm older and I want to really do this, I feel a little hindered. And I, I, I really do just need to break down and, and get Skillshare and try to go from there and see how that works. Um, I'm, I am... I'm not showing it here in this video for whatever reason, but I am working on trying to find my style and what I really want to do. I that that first picture was a was a was clearly something I didn't trace. But anyway, it looks like the video is freaking out. Um, and just a quick note, I don't know why um, my comments are turned off. I'm going to try to fix that, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope to if I hope to get the comments fixed. I hope you guys like this. Show that you like it by leaving a like. Give give me that thumbs up so I know if I should keep doing this. And I hope you all have a great day.